A 7,000 year old structure near Prague in Czechia is older than Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids. It's among the oldest evidence of architecture in Europe. And if you see the uh, image, the aerial image, it has an outer wall, but also has inner uh, walls as well, at least three from what I can see from the image. The aerial view of the Vinor round down near Prague, showing three separate entrances. The image is from the Institute of Archaeology of the Czech Academy of Sciences. Archaeologists digging near Prague discovered the remains of a Stone Age structure that's older than Stonehenge and even the Egyptian pyramids, an enigmatic complex known as a roundel. Nearly 7,000 years ago, during the late Neolithic or Stone Age, local farming community may have gathered in this circular building, although its true purpose is unknown. The excavated roundel is large, about 180 feet or 55 meters in diameter, or about as long as the Leaning Tower of Pisa is tall, Radio Prague International reported. And while it is too early to say anything about the people building this roundel, it's clear that they were part of the st stroked pottery culture, which flourished between 4,900 BC and 4,400 BC. This is what Jaroslav Ridke, a spokesperson for the Institute of Archaeology of the Czech Academy of Sciences, IAP, said and an expert on Czech Republic's roundels. Miroslav Kraus, director of the roundel excavation in the district of Vinor, on behalf of the IAP, said that revealing the structure could give them a clue about the use of the building. Researchers first learned about Vinor roundel's existence in 1980s, when construction workers were laying gas and water pipelines, according to Radio Prague International, but the current dig has revealed the structure's entirety for the first time. So far, his team has recovered pottery fragments, animal bones, and stone tools in the ditch fill, according to Ridke. Carbon dating organic remains from this roundel excavated could help the team pinpoint the date of the structure's construction and possibly link it with a Neolithic settlement discovered nearby. The people who made stroked pottery the wear of this type are known for building other roundels in the Bohemian region of the Czech Republic, Ritke said. Their sedentary farming villages, located at the intersection of contemporary Poland, eastern Germany, and the northern Czech Republic, consisted of several longhouses, which were large rectangular structures that held 20 to 30 people each. But the knowledge of building of roundels crossed the borders of several architectural cultures, Ritke said. Different communities build roundels across Central Europe. Roundels were not well-known ancient features until a few decades ago, when aerial and drone photography became a key part of the, the archaeological toolkit. But now archaeologists know that roundels are the oldest evidence of architecture in the whole of Europe, Ricky told Radio Prague International. Viewed from above, roundels consist of one or more wide circular ditches with several gaps that functioned as entrances. The inner part of each roundel was likely lined with wooden poles, perhaps with mud plastering the gaps, according to Radio Prague International. Hundreds of these circular earthworks have been found throughout Central Europe, but they all date to a span of just two or three centuries. While their popularity in the late Neolithic is clear, their function is still in question. In 1991, the earliest known roundel was found in Germany, also corresponding to the stroked pottery culture, called the Gossic Circle. It's 246 feet or 75 meters in diameter, has a double wooden palisade and three entrances. Because two of the entrances correspond with sunrise and sunset during the winter and summer solstices, one interpretation of the Gosset Circle is that it functioned as an observatory or calendar of sorts, according to a 2012 study in the journal Archaeological Papers of the American Anthropological Association. Ridke preferred a more general interpretation of the Vinoir structure, noting that roundels probably combine several functions, the most important being socio-ritual, he told Life Science, and it's likely that roundels were built for gatherings of a large number of people, perhaps to commemorate events important to them as a community, 
such as rights of passage, astronomical phenomena, or economic exchange. Given that the people who build roundels had only stone tools to work with, these roundel sizes are quite impressive. Most community commonly about 200 feet, 60, uh, 60 meters in diameter, or half the length of a football field. But little is known about the people themselves, as very few burials have been found that could provide more information about their lives seven millennia ago. After three centuries of po popularly, uh, popularity, Roundel suddenly disappeared from archaeological record about 4,600 BC. Archaeologists do not yet know why the Roundels were abandoned. But considering over one quarter of the Roundels found to date are located in the Czech Republic, future research similar to the uh, excavation at Vinoir may eventually help solve the mystery of the roundels. This is by Christina Kilgrove on Life Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.